Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings to all. My name is Nur Amira Nabiha binti Muhammad Nazri. I will present a conceptual paper on exploring the customer willingness to use service robot in restaurants, moderating role of each generation. So without further ado, let's start. I will start my presentation with an introduction. New technologies often raise the best on their impact just as radio and television spark concern and speculation. The rise of robot today prompts discussion about their potential to replace human jobs. Service robot defined as those that perform tasks independently have attract attention. In sectors like tourism and hospitality, robots originally designed for manufacturing have been adapted for tasks like luggage handling and housekeeping. With advancing technology, academic and industry interest in robot service has increased. The hospitality industry debates the use of robot in customer service roles with compelling argument from both supporters and opponents. We'll move to the issue in a context. The restaurant industry is a crucial for economic growth and has seen substantial growth globally including in Malaysia. Various types of restaurants have emerged due to modern lifestyle and social media. However, the COVID-19 pandemic drastically impacted the industry, leading to the closure and reduced demand. Robot services gain popularity as they reduce human contact and addresses hygiene concerns. The pandemic prompted a permanent shift in consumer behavior towards technology adoption. Restaurants are increasingly turning to service robots to adapt to the changing demands and safety concerns. While study on customers' acceptance of technology-based services are lacking, using models like you talk to can help understand technology adoption in restaurants. This approach will benefit restaurant owners seeking to navigate these challenges. Next, moving on to the literature review. The first one is restaurant industry and technology. The restaurant industry thrives on competition, pushing owners to boost sales and customer satisfaction. This growth is driven by the busy nature of modern life with people eating out due to time constraints. To adapt, Owners seek innovative ways to market their establishment. In Malaysia, the food service sector faces global competition, yet it contributes significantly to the economy with a broad customer base. This trend implies continued economic growth. To stay ahead, aggressive marketing including technology adoption is crucial. Restaurants are leveraging technology by enhancing menus with image and nutritional information. Second is customer use intention. Customer use purpose refer to a customer inclination to utilize product or service, a crucial aspect impacting business success and revenue. Factors influencing customer intent include perceived utility, if of use, quality, satisfaction, past experiences, pricing, and marketing efforts. Enhancing product perception, usability, and customer support can drive usage. For a restaurant employing robot service, such as hinges of factors like user comfort with robot, system ease, and overall dining experience. Offering a blend of robot technology, excellent service, and quality food can attract customers. Incentives like discount could further entice patrons, while Early adoption research is common. There is a limited insight into post acceptance behavior. Understanding real usage has seen in IT system study is pivotal. Past study highlight the link between users' patterns and marketing related behavior, satisfaction, interest in new tech, and future buying intentions. Is unified theory of acceptance. You talk. In 2012, when Katesh and college revised the Utah model, shifting its focus from helping employees understand technology to understand how customers use it. This led to Utah 2, which include original aspects such as performance expectancy, effort expectancy, social influence and facilitating conditions, and introduces hedonic motivation, price value, and habit. Next, I will move to the proposition development. The first one is performance expectancy. Performance expectancy means the degree to which customers believe that using technology will help them do certain things. Next is effort expectancy. Venkatesh et al. 2012 say 
that effort expectancy has to do with how easy it is to use as a tool. Since technology is getting better, more and more high-tech future will be used. Other than that is social influence. It has been shown that social influence is a strong predictor of how people accept and use technology in different settings. Next is facilitating condition. Facilitating condition are customer perception of the resources and support available to perform a behavior. Moreover, hedonic motivation. As one of the first three new factors added to the original Utah, hedonic motivation is defined as the fun or pleasure derived from using technology. Next is habit. A tendency of customers to do things or use product without thinking about it. This is like experience but is different because users with the same experience can form different habits. So this is my proposed conceptual framework. Next, I will move to the methodology. The first one is the questionnaire design. Creating an effective questionnaire requires adherence to key rules to accurately measure essential traits. This ensures higher response rate, proper measurement, and targeting the right participants. Reliable questionnaire adopted and acceptance are crucial. Pool questionnaire in this study were adapted from existing research, tailored by and expected to align with research objective. Next is data collection procedure and data analysis. Data can be gathered in different ways, in different places, and most importantly, from different sources. Next is a questionnaire is a tool for research that consists of a number of questions and other prompts that are used to get information from subjects. Other than that, data analysis part explains how the statistical research used in the study work. Statistical methods such as descriptive statistics and results were used to look at the link between the plan in order to answer the study's question. PLSEM was used to find out how factors are linked to each other, test theories and look at models. As a conclusion has academic contribution, this study contribute to the academic understanding of technology acceptance by expanding the Utah 2 model to include customers' users' intention. It also correlates findings with existing empirical evidence. This research enriched the literature on digital technology adoption in restaurant robot service and the broader food service domain. The study's outcome will likely encourage future researchers to explore this area with extended frameworks and broader populations. Next is practical contribution. Exploring customer willingness to use service robot in restaurants offers practical value through informed decision making and strategic technology implementation. By understanding attitudes, restaurants can design systems aligning with expectation, enhancing the dining experience, optimizing labor, and attracting tech savvy diners. Addressing concern build trust for seamless robot integration, this research empowers the industry to adapt to trends, offer innovative services, and provide personalized experiences. That's all from me. Thank you very much.